Hello and welcome back to some more Magical Diary. We have to choose what to study for the next week and I figured we should continue with our strategy. Max out blue, do some fight. Might work. Way, one point. Colorful cell allows the cast to relocate M <laughs> relocate M cell. Uh, so I guess that's what we would have needed in the first exam to complete it. Well, well, we have it now. White magic. Oh, two points, nice. And three in blue. Whoa, I'm on the road here. Awareness. Expands the caster's mind to visualize nearby locations, making them known. Fast speak. Communicate with the willing object in a nearby known location. Awesome. And two points. Nice. On Saturday morning, the maid and allowance are delivered. What should I do today? Uh, we haven't been to the mall in a while, I think. Uh, let's visit the magic store. This branch of the mall looks like a dead end. There's only one shop front, and it's blacked out with a coming soon sign on the door. But at that, as I get closer, a patch of wall blurs and shimmers to reveal a second door marked with a star. Marvelous magical accountants. Oh, we can buy things. Glass. Uh. <laughs> Where is that? Halo. Uh. I have no idea. Text. <laughs> uh. I mean. I guess we could buy a wand, maybe? I have no idea what any of these are used for. No, never mind. Let's be done shopping. So that was a waste, but it's fine. Morning. Um, hey guys, I just thought I should warn you, the next exam is Friday. But the end of the month isn't until next week. And don't look at me, I don't make the rules. I just tell them to you. Um, will it be like the first one? Uh, nothing doing. Uh, this time they drop us in a pit full of alligators and we have to fight our way out. <laughs> You're such a liar. <laughs> it's not a lie if it's funny. Yeah, but do you know anything real? Well, I'm pretty sure we'll be in a dangerous, cause pretty much all exams are dangerous, but I don't know what they're going to do with us. And um, William said that after the first time we have to cast the spells we've learned in class, so we can't just take it with wild magic. <laughs> I'm kind of screwed. So it's better no enough spells. What should I do this week? Right, let's say. I don't know, it, is it worth maxing out blue anymore? I'm having, I'm kind of having second thoughts. Let's do that. Maybe we should choose three, choose three different schools and focus on them. That's transformation. That's uh, mind reading. Uh, maybe black magic as well. Uh, let's go with that. White magic. Oh, three points. Nice. Black magic. Or, in 
description write or remove words from a target object right holy shit more points spirit echoes can reveal impressions left on a target by strong emotions in the past I have no idea what that does for sure uh -huh, there you go that's a class whoa I really maxed out white uh, tap the flow Draw energy from the other world to recharge mana supply. Maybe we actually have to fight later. At the appointed time, I make my. Oh, let's actually say. I make my way to the testing room. I'm not sure why they send us to a specific room. Anyway. If they're just going to teleport us into a dungeon when we're there, unless this time it will be different. No, it does not look like it. Hmm. Once again, I find myself in the dungeon. But this time, in a large area, facing a deep, dark hole. Greetings, Elizabeth Hummington the second. Behold the abyss. You will find the exit to this dungeon on the other side. This dungeon level is now boarded. You may not teleport outside of this dungeon level. You must cross the abyss in order to succeed. You may choose to surrender at any time, and you will be retrieved from the dungeon early. However, you will fail your exam and receive demerits. Good luck. So, what now? Oh. Movement and spell casting commands can be found in the left hand side of the screen. If you hold down the shift key, you can use the left, right, and up arrows to move around the dungeon. Let's save. Okay. Oh. Whoa! Development menu. Return. Oh, uh, I had to use the arrow keys. Oh, okay, they're different pictures. <laughs> it's not a. That's the side, that's backwards. Let's explore over here. Can't walk through a wall. Ladder? Okay, so. Oh, maybe we can. I want to try something first, though. Really, jump over the abyss. Sure. <laughs> I take a few steps back, then get a running start and leap, but not far enough. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. Okay, let's not use any magic at all. Let's jump over the pit. Oh, sure, I'll keep that. Ah, oh, that was hilarious. But instead of splattering, I find myself back in the school. Miss Hummington, what did you think you were doing? Um, being adventurous, sir? Smashing yourself to pieces is a good idea of an adventure. Uh, the 
Baron might have been an illusion? Then use what little sense you possess to attempt to dispel it. And do not assume that I will always be there to catch you when you fall. For your abyssal performance, you will receive ten demerits and detention tomorrow. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, so fun. <laughs> well, that's things. <laughs> On Saturday morning. When mail and allowances are delivered, I get up to go to my detention. Oh, my roommates didn't say anything about it. I am the first to arrive in the new detention room, followed shortly by Donald. Hello there. You screwed up the exam too? Exam? Well, isn't that why you're here? <laughs> no. Wh why are you here? Um, never mind. The professor arrives and looks back and forth at the two of us. Mr. Danson, what could I do that would make you stop ending up here every weekend? I don't know. This is a serious problem, Mr. Denson. I require a truthful answer. What if you didn't like the answer? I mean, the truth made you really mad and you gave me another detention, then... You will not be punished for speaking the truth. I have ways to tell if you are lying. If you are, I may have to become creative. Well, okay. These things for a moment. Then smiles. If you claim that on the cafeteria table during lunch, wearing a feather bow and saying happy birthday to me. That would cause New York to stop seeking detention. Uh, yeah. Your honesty is duly noted. I will show you to your task. Follow me, Miss Hummington. Wait here. They leave the room. I'm not sure what Donald was thinking. But I bet the professor's not happy with him. A few minutes later, Professor Grebner returns. He sits at the table and massages his temples. Sir? Oh, you. He stands and turns to go through one of the cabinets until he finds a thin book which he tosses onto the table. Read that. Write a report summarizing it. I picked up the book. It's hardcover, with a pattern gold binding and a crudely drawn scowling figure on the front. The title is Little Will Went Up the Hill and Came Down in Pieces. Is this a children's book? If you behave like a child, you will be educated like one. This is how wizard children learn not to be suicidally stupid. Now get started. Keeping my sight to myself, I sit down and begin reading. Wow, this truly is morbid. Every few pages, one of Willie's friends makes a mistake and dies in a grisly new way, while the adults in the background carry on having a party. British kids have to read this stuff. 
<laughs> can't you just thank me? What the? Um, yeah, just write the report. I don't. With the sigh, I get to work. It's not pleasant reading, but I guess that's the point. Um, right. <laughs> that was awkward. I don't understand why your class is cancelled on Friday. And it becomes on the dark dance on Thursday night. A, a dance? But I don't have anything to wear. And I haven't asked anyone. <laughs> Not that kind of dance. And what is it then? I... Uh, on Halloween night, witches and wizards dance in the dark to the fairies can listen. Wow. I don't think I said the correct word in there. On Halloween night, witches and wizards dance on the dark so the fairies can visit. It's a ceremonial thing. Uh, at home we only do it a few minutes, but because there's so many here, they might make it into a big event at school. It goes all, all night. So it's not really a romantic type dance, but I guess it could bring in the hate of you, like if you really want to. Maybe I should bring that out of my So, would you be going with Jacob? <laughs> what? You, you like Jacob? <laughs> no, <laughs> why did you get that idea? It's so stupid and like to interrupt you. Well, he's always teasing you. <laughs> so is Donald, that doesn't mean he's a jerk. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. So, what should I do this week? Uh, what should we do? I wanna... Let's go with... Let's actually... Sleep that... Uh, my stress is kinda high. Uh, let's try it. Have you saved? Go! Watch my dick! Ha! <laughs> Three points. Amazing. I lay back on my bed with a sigh. What a day! Uh, um, are you alright? You don't look so good. I'm just tired. You, you sure you're not sick? I'm not sick, and I'm not going to give you my chance. That's not what I meant. Just don't work too hard and forget to rest. <laughs> ha! You are telling me not to pay too much attention to school. Sounds more like something a Virginia would say. Well, maybe you'll take it more seriously then. I study hard, but I know that if I get too tired, I forget things. There's no point in studying if you, if you can't remember what you've learned. I suppose. Uh, so that's the game's friendly warning, and that's a failure. After class, I find Donald and Virginia standing outside our our room. Don't you have something for me? Mm, yeah, yeah, happy birthday, goof. She hands him her box. Um, socks again? Yeah, but this time they're yellow, so, like, be grateful. Well, thanks, I guess. Happy birthday! Right. So, what do you think about the dance tomorrow? I don't know. I'm not sure how you hold to dance in the dark. I wonder if there will it be a punch. Well, are you going to ask anyone? Virginia said it wasn't that kind of dance. Yeah, yes, but I mean, it's easier. 
it's not like a real date, so I mean, uh, what's that? There's something taped on the door of our room, something pink and rectangular. Helen takes it down and looks at it. Well, I guess you don't need to ask anyone. She hands me the envelope with my name on it. I take out the letter inside and begins to read. Dear Elizabeth, please don't throw this away. I know I deserve it. I've been terrible to you. What's this? I flick down to the end. Damien, after refusing to talk for me to me for a month, now is sending me a love letter. I keep reading. You deserve better. I should have told you what was going on. Please meet me tomorrow before the dark dawns, and I will explain everything. So, who is it from? Damien! Uh, uh. We still haven't decided who we, who we want to run. I kinda like. Um, Okay, I can't really. I can't even remember his name. Uh, Virginia's brother, the prankster, the best. I mean, uh, let's try and keep the letter. I fold up the letter and tuck it into my pocket. It's not a love letter. He says he wants to talk to me, that's all. You don't tell Virginia, okay? I want to find out what's going on. <laughs> All right. Uh, failure, failure. Late in the evening, hours after dinner, the students are summoned to the dark dance. Even in the halls, the lights have been turned off, leaving only the moonlight and the faint blue club of magic to navigate by. Somewhere in the distance I hear the sound of drums, foreman will awaken the heartbeat. But before I can reach the dance, someone catches my arm. Elizabeth? Hello? I'm glad I can find you. I was afraid it'd be too late. I've been an idiot. Look, what I said to you that day, I didn't mean it. I can't even remember what I said. When was he mean to me? <laughs> I guess I wasn't paying attention. Then why did you say it? Because I was trying to push you away. Well, you did that. Um, I'm sure you've heard the stories by now. William will have made sure of that. About me and girls and how I hurt people that get close to me. And it's true. I don't expect you to understand. You're, you're filled with the light. You're a happy person. You're bright and fresh and honest and enthusiastic. That's what I like about you. But me, I've got a lot of dark things in my life. Things I can't talk about. Not with anyone. When I've been with girls, I can't let them get too close. And if they keep trying, I have to stop them. I don't see what this has to do with me. Don't you? We weren't dating? No, it was worse. We were becoming friends. I, s oh. I started to feel like I could trust you, and that scared me. You're not like other girls, Elizabeth. You're special. 
watching you explore your new world here at school. All ice and stars. It makes me happy. And that's dangerous. Um, why? <laughs> he laughs. See, that's it. You're innocent. It's cute. I lied to you, and then I tried to stay away. But I've missed you. Knowing that you thought I hated you. Knowing that even when I sent your presents, you'd never imagine they were from me. He knew that pie was from you. I don't usually attend things like the Apple Festival, where I have to hide what I am. But I, I thought you might be sad that I, that you couldn't go. So I brought you something. I hope you liked it. <laughs> it was creepy. No, it was great. You're kind. It was great. A fine gift. Thank you. You're very welcome. Anyway, I decided that I owe you to you to tell you the truth about what happened and to say that I'm sorry. I'd like to be friends again, if we can be, if you can understand. No way. Of course we can be friends, you silly boy. Of course we can. I'm glad. Now, you've got a dance to get to. Enjoy your night. And I'll see you later. Oh, and whatever you do, don't peek at the spirits. With a wink, he walks away.